what's up it's coach AK it's day seven one week since my 31st birthday uh, this morning it's been a little bit of a lazy day I've gotten a lot of work done there was a little bit of uh, a typhoon that came in that uh, dumped some rain but ideally a lot of work has been been going on inside um, on the internet um, you can hear outside right now uh, some little jeepneys coming by so it is a little loud uh, yesterday was cool we, we, we met with the kids uh, met with some of the scholars that we haven't seen in well I haven't seen in over a year um, Kareem Antonio the co-founder of Empower to Play um, has been doing some amazing work with the kids so they've, they've grown up fast Today, we have one of the, the board members coming in, Azella Perryman. Uh, she gets in tonight from, from South Africa. So she's gonna be a, a, big, a big help and a big support for the team, as well as we have an important meeting tomorrow with the US Embassy. And um, they've been uh, an amazing partner with this whole organization, with the work that we're doing. And this meeting tomorrow is wish us luck it's really important so today we're actually gonna be heading out in a little bit we're meeting the barangay captain there's an event going on over there we also have to go to the airport um, so there's not, I'm not a lot happening today but we're still gonna keep you updated I know if you're looking at me I'm breaking out a little bit um, why I don't know the diet my diet is a little bit different but I'll stay healthy I'll be good so we're going to update you throughout the day. It is day seven, one week outside of my birthday. But like I said, yesterday was really cool. It was really good. Um, you know, it's one of those things where sometimes for me, I was thinking like sometimes it's, it's, it's when you have nothing is when you realize you have, have everything. And in the United States, sometimes you have everything but you realize that you really have nothing. And I think when we're in these communities, um, yes, these kids and these families may not have as much as we have in the United States, but they're, the, the, the happiness, the joy that these kids have, that these communities have, the, the, the sense of family, the sense of friendship, the sense of just being warm and welcoming is so big. So, that's what you can get when you get outside of, of, of America. I know you can find that in America, but over here, we're living it, we're seeing it on a daily basis um, of how you can have so little, but actually have so much more. So I'll, like I said, I'm gonna continue to update you on not only today, but throughout the year about all the work that we're doing, all the work that I'm doing. Um, so stay tuned, day seven. Coach Eric again. It's been like this. It's been like this for a while. It's um, it's a little rainy. So we've, we've stayed we've stayed inside, and we're gonna stay inside only for about ten more minutes as we get ready to go to Banjo Pilar. So Banjo Pilar is what we can call maybe the mayor of this city. So he's hosting an event tonight that our team is going to. Uh, he's been a big supporter of all the work that, that we do. If you look on the banner for that last, uh, I think it was yesterday's video, when he went over to his location, he was the one that was sitting next to me with the big cheese and sign like this. So we're heading over to his place. He's hosting a party. He's um, really big in this area, really gives back in this area. So. We're happy for his support. And then from there, we're going over to the airport. It's best to go at this time for one because the weather is gonna make traffic a little bit easier because not many people are gonna be out. We're there to pick up Azella Perryman from, I think she's coming in from South Africa, um, Johannesburg. But this weather is really what we're, we're experiencing right now. One of the board members, Beth Prisola, Prisbella, 
told us about a typhoon that's actually coming in from into Japan. Two typhoons that are coming together, something that hasn't happened since 1996, but it looks as though that is actually going to skirt over us and hit the tip of Japan. Uh, sorry to hear about for Japan, obviously. Our prayers and our thoughts go out to them for anything that may happen over there. But we're just probably getting the tail end of it. Nothing big over here on our side, especially as they have people coming in for the next couple days to spend some time with us to get ready for this event. That's <laughs> <laughs> right, so, right, right now we are, this is the 90th birthday party. Yeah, How old is she? 60th. Oh, 60th. 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 We'll, 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 we'll cut that out. Okay. We'll cut that again. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're just getting something to eat. We just got here. The uh, We had to walk through really mountains of mud and rain. <laughs> just joking, it wasn't that bad. But, but ideally, um, I just want to show you a little bit of, uh, of some of the, the Filipino food actually catered by these um, sisters. These sisters. sisters. Yeah, the, the place where you're going to actually be meeting when you come to the, the area, there's a restaurant called D Sisters. Like, this is just the relative yeah, also. It's a family, also, yeah, it's a family, family business. Family business. So I'm just going to uh, talk a little bit about the food. Um, obviously we have the, the white rice, we all know what that is. <laughs> you got to describe, friends. Describe. What's so, this one, friends? What is this one? This is the menudo. This is the, the menudo. This is the big broccoli. The, the beef broccoli. broccoli. Yeah. Oh. Menudo. This, this one menudo. is menudo. Oh, menudo. This one's menudo? Yeah. Menudo, yeah. menudo, menudo. menudo. pork. Menudo pork with pork liver. With pork yeah. liver. Yeah. Okay. And with tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. With potatoes What's and that? carrots. Okay, and carrots. What's this? That's what we call the embutido. Embutido. It's pork. Yeah. It's pork. It's ground so this, pork. So this is ground pork, yeah. pork pork. Yeah. Some more pork. Yeah. <laughs> All pork. All pork. Have you seen the white pork? Yeah. No, I haven't and seen then we also have some right ribs and some chin chin. So this is, this is chin so chin. chin. She'll be catering your food, by the way, you guys. She'll be, she'll be catering for the Empowered Apprentice. No, no, don't be shy. Don't be shy. It's too late Listen now. You're already walked up. You already came in. So <laughs> she's been with us since, since she's, she's been with, with us since day one. Since day one when we started this uh, two years ago. Yeah, so we're gonna go meet Banjo's wife in a minute. Then we got some vegetables, but we're just gonna get something to eat. This is a little bit of some of the, uh, the local culture. Uh, I'm starving, so by the end of this, you will not see anything on this plate. But uh, this Hopefully. is the food. This is gonna be good. So, how's the food? We'll take it up. I'm gonna take a bite. So we're gonna. They I want, can't fake it. They want us to. They want us to actually leave real quick, you guys. Okay. Take a break real quick to go meet Banjo's wife, the congresswoman, before she leaves. So let's okay. finish. That's what they're telling us. Council. Okay. I'm sorry. Let's see you. Council. So we're gonna we're gonna save this right now. Yeah. We'll come right back. back. <laughs> and uh, come from there. How you doing? It's Coach AK. Hi, I'm uh, Carlos Catalina. Yeah, so what he is, he's one of the, he's one of the, uh, yeah. he's, he's, he's one of the, the judges in, in Paso Timon, and we're having a conversation because uh, last year I was the associate dean of students, and one of the things we're really trying to incorporate was something called restorative justice, and here. The way their legal system works, I find it sound to be very effective. Yeah. So explain a little bit about what, how your legal system works, how you handle disputes, yeah. and how it moves up the ladder. Okay. Uh, we handle the dispute uh, with, uh, with uh, of course, explaining uh, each other first, both parties explaining to, to them uh, about the problems, and uh, then we're going to uh, ask them, both parties again, uh, what happened, and then uh, we, uh, okay, we give our uh, solution or uh, we give our uh, uh, mediation in a proper way, and uh, of course, uh, we also uh, ask them to settle the dispute in a win-win, uh, in a win-win win -win solution, in a right manner. Uh, that's what we do. So, what you will always take care here. Uh, uh, 
cases of uh, uh, troubles or uh, and, uh, land dispute and the uh, uh, gossip and uh, more open we, uh, we, we, we settle the quarrels of every, every parties. That's what we do. Yeah. And this system is something that we're the, in the United States many institutions are trying to adopt and what, what the judge here is doing he's, he's finding effectiveness in that matter how of the, of the cases how many are you able to handle within your system well oh, oh, uh, in our schedule we have our own schedule and uh, in barangay oh uh, we, we are on a group saturday group we are in the saturday group now, our uh, we start our uh, hearing at 9:30 in the morning, and sometimes we uh, we finish about 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the afternoon because we uh, we have 24 up to 30 cases okay. handling at that, at that day. One right. that's one one day only, and uh, we uh, also. Uh, uh, Tell them, explain them. If uh, they don't get uh, the amicable, they don't have the uh, settlement. Uh, we have the process, the process of our justice. Uh, we we got have to go on the third uh, schedule of hearings before we uh, issue the request of the complainant about the uh, certification to file action. Okay, and, and, that, and that's the time that they, they will go to the court. Right, and then of the number that comes on the Saturday, how many end up moving to that third round? Uh, most of the time, uh, half of it. Okay, so it sounds like a lot of them are able to be handled um, within this 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 mediation resolution process. That sounds very effective. In the United States, we have one system, yes. and it's usually the accuser and the accused, and both parties aren't. A, they don't really handle the situation, mm -hmm. right? So one person, a punishment may happen, but in the end, both people may not feel like the situation was resolved uh -huh. because they weren't a part of the resolution process. So I just want to say thank you for sharing some of your thoughts, some of your ideas, and the effectiveness of something that we're trying to do, but obviously we should start looking at other places because it seems like they already know how to do it. Yeah, well, okay. much welcome. Thank much you welcome. very much. You're much welcome. Appreciate it. We'll be touching best. Okay. Stand, 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 stand,
I mean, obviously we were in inside the province. That's really the we'll say the, the suburbs. But I want people to know that there's places in the Philippines that look just like Beverly Hills, better than Beverly Hills. Um, so when you think about some of these countries, like right here, I'm going to show you a big IMAX theater. Right? This is IMAX. Look at this. We got we got thousands of people just all in here. By thousands of people. We got HM. We got a Mega Mall. Right? So, people need to understand that what you see on TV isn't always what it seems, right? You got places, this right now looks like Las Vegas. Where we are right now looks like Las Vegas. So I want people to get that, to wrap their head around that a little bit. Yes, we're in the province about where we're staying, but these are, you know, I think we were saying, in terms of one of the most developed, I mean, what is it, in terms of fastest growing economies in the world. It's actually second to China. Second to China. Like, it's a very country. That's growing, right? So I want you to check this out one more time. This is actually on the way just to go to the airport. So you got places just like Beverly Hills. That's the thing about the Philippines. You got the island lifestyle. You have, you know, if you want to live in this area, the, the, the Las Vegas or the, the, the strip type of area, if you want the, the province. So you have so many different places that you can live in. I'm gonna check, we're gonna check this out just one more time. Um, but just look at it. I want you to hear the noise and I want you to see the sounds. I mean, hear the sounds. Look at the, look what we see. It's quite impressive. So we've arrived in uh, Manila International Airport. We just got here. We are waiting for Adela Perryman, one of the board members from South Africa. The funny thing is, we, our organization, we really work um, kind of like through a Skype through a Zoom. So all of our board members are really all over the world. So this would actually be the first time um, Adela and I meet for the first time, as well as the the rest of the team. So she should be coming up momentarily with our team and when we do we're going to be happy to greet her and introduce you to part of the Empower 2 play team. We're super excited. Um, stay tuned. This is the person we've been talking about, um, Adela Perryman, coming in from South Africa on a 24-hour flight. You don't usually see this guy, this is Joel. Yo, he's who's on the camera, but he's Coach Joel. He's actually one of the coaches that's right beside me as we are doing the, 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 the camp for last year, the year before. He's been there since day one. Adela's now starting, she's part of the family. And we got an important meeting tomorrow at the embassy. Uh, this is a big one. Uh, just get in the airport, 
I'm gonna tell you what's all we're in a cab um, coming over here and I'm gonna tell you you're taller than I expected so this will be a very uncomfortable cab ride back you may not be able to tell but we're all over I'm six I'm six four six three yeah Azella, Azella, talking talking stuff but, but she's she's six I think she's six two but we're gonna have a good time first day a lot of work to go so let's get moving. All right, sounds good.